Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another stream. Uh, today we're doing something a little different. Uh, I know when you hear YouTubers say that, um, we've talked about this in my streams before, it means that they've run out of ideas. Uh, for me, it's... That's definitely true. Uh, so today we're doing some franchise mode. Um, we're going to be taking over one of the teams that's near and dear to my heart um, by only uh, proximity, and that would be the Chicago Bears. Uh, those of you guys who know me know that I live in Chicago um, and that I do watch every single Bears game uh, simply by virtue of being a, uh, a resident here. So what I'm going to do, uh, with the help of Bengal, he's on the Skype call with me, um, he's going to kind of walk me through. This is my first time doing anything like this. So he's going to walk me through, make sure that I make it through the draft alive and everything. And uh, we are going to try to make the Bears, um, I was going to say make them great again, but yeah, <laughs> make them great again, make them a, a playoff bound team, maybe even a Super Bowl bound team. Uh, I will be playing the games. Um, Bengal, if I'm not mistaken, I'm, I won't be simulating any actual games. I'll be playing all 16, right? Yeah, you're simulating the preseason as far as we talk about. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. By the way, uh, Bengal, his his link to his channel is down in the description. Uh, he, him and the official mole, you guys know him very well. Uh, both of them guys have been motivating me, trying to get me to expand my horizons as far as Madden content goes. And um, I'm getting my feet wet in this draft, uh, not, I was about to say draft champs, but in this franchise mode. All right, so I'm about to uh, continue. Let's see where it drops me. I think it's right before, it's like four weeks before the draft. I'm pretty sure. This is the last Are you in an offline franchise or the one that I set up? Uh, the one that you set up. Okay. So it says I have 20 players ready to negotiate their tr contracts. By the way, guys, quick heads up. This is taking place right after the 2016 season. So right now we are in the off season that separates um, the 2016 season and the 2017 season. All right. So, Bengal, I'm going to assume I have to jump into this right where it says 20 players ready to negotiate. Absolutely. Okay. By the way, guys, we went uh, in 2016. I simmed the These 2016 are on season. The last year of their contract. Um, we went we two them now so and you 14 don't lose on them the season. During the season, and it locked us up for the number one overall pick in the draft. So that's awesome. All right, Alshon Jeffrey. Uh, this is a guy we've talked about in my streams in the past. I, I stick by my opinion. I don't think he's going to stay a Chicago Bear. Bengal, what do you think? Is Alshon Jeffrey uh, going to remain a Chicago Bear? In real life, yeah. I would doubt it due to the current situation of the Chicago Bears and the money he could be paid. Right. But I think you're in a unique situation where you can control whether Alshon Jeffrey returns to the Chicago Bears or not. You should have a decent amount of cap room in order to re-sign some, uh, some big players for you. And I, Alshon, I think, is going to be a necessary part of that offense if you look to turn around the Chicago Bears in the next couple of seasons. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'd like to keep him. But um, at the same time, I'm trying to tread the the, uh, the boundary of realism as well as, you know, trying to make a successful team. I want to try to make it, you know, kind of reflect almost real life. I know it's not going to be exactly real life, but it seems like he's not going to be a bear. It's not out of the question. It's not out of the question. You're right. You're right. Um, by the way, what is my cap? Does it say? Where, where do I look that up? Go ahead and go into negotiate, and you can see what Alshon's asking for, okay. and the amount of room that you uh, you can negotiate right. after signing him. Negotiate last okay. chance. Let's see what this is all about. Cap room yeah, so if you can offer once, on and if you don't get it accepted, cap then the current he will leave and test free agency. Impact the cap room. Okay, I see it. All right. The closer um, your contract proposal is to the desired contract, then the higher chance they will accept. Okay, so his fair offer is $46.4 million uh, for four years. And let's keep in mind, you can increase the years mm -hmm. uh, to decrease the cap hit per year. Okay. And you can offer him more with the salary assigning bonus to make him more likely to return to your team. Okay. Um, I would actually like to do that. Can I make it, uh, let's see, so that's 42 Hmm. 
What do you think? I, I, I want your opinion on this. What do you think is a fair offer for a five-year extension? He wanted four. I, I think, but we're going to go five. What do you think? I would give him um, five years and probably what he's asking for money-wise to make it, what, 58 in total? Um, okay, so do I put that in with the signing bonus or his salary? Well, I mean, it, it's already – it was 58 in total, right? Something like that? So I yes, mean, you it can. It's almost you can potentially. Seven point nine. I mean, you can increase different things depending on like how much you want to pay, and you know when you increase salary, um, your cap room is going to go down um, a bit mm -hmm. faster. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it all depends on what you're willing to pay them. Um. Okay. So we did five years. How do I pose this to him? This is this Make. is what I'm happy offering him. Make offer. Make offer. All right. I'm happy to sign and continue playing for this great organization. All right, so we locked up Alshon Jeffrey for the next five years. Uh, he's a 90 overall receiver. Oh, he's a 93. My bad. Well, bad. His, his confidence level mm -hmm. due to playing on the Bears' abysmal <laughs> franchise is down. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> so the okay. fact that he is so not confident in playing on the Bears. Yeah. He plays down to a 90 instead of a 93. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, moving on. Uh, I don't know. Do we do we go through all 20 of these? or? Do you know I mean, you can that? look at players that you're like, okay, he'd be good depth. Okay. Definitely want to get him in the game. We got Sam Acho. Hook him horns. Who I believe. Yes, hook him horns. Who, who I believe is their starting, current starting uh, right outside linebacker. Um, but depending on um, some of the players in the draft, you might want to pick up one instead. Right, so that reminds me. Let me let me pull that up. I have a list um, list of players that I'm looking for in a draft. Let me see. I remember one of them wasn't uh, wasn't he the Heisman winner right outside linebacker? There is an outside linebacker that won the Heisman currently in this draft. Yeah, that's that's the one I'm trying to get. Could be a player that you want to keep on your radar. Right, because I got the first overall pick, right? So, mm -hmm. And do, with your current situation, if you don't want the number one overall guy, mm -hmm. you're in a position where you can actually trade back uh, to pick up more picks, even in this draft class and, or, and the next as well, uh, to get more value out of that he first was overall a, pick. He was a left outside linebacker, Rashawn Lucky. Yeah, you can play him on either side, though. Okay. Because you do have Pernell McPhee, and you can just change... Right. Lucky to an outside linebacker on the right side coming off the edge. Right. Okay, so then let's do that. Um, so then I guess in that case, correct me if I'm wrong, but I should be okay with this guy walking away, right? Uh, yeah. Unless, because the tricky thing about Madden 17 yeah. is you have a lot of players that are going to be asking for more than they're worth. Okay. To the point of where it's not worth having them on your team. Mm -hmm. So, let's see. So he three years for a salary of one point nine. I mean, it's, that's not much of a hit. That, that's not that bad. That's not much sure. of a hit. So we can just can I just leave it as is? His cap hit is actually a two point four eight because signing bonus plays in as well. Salary does not have to do with cap hit. Hmm. You still do have forty million in cap room though. Right. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I just make that offer. The asking, eight point eight eight. What well, do you, let me ask you this. He's only 28 years old. Yeah. Would you be comfortable having him on your team at 31, 32 as a backup? Well, he's 28 years old. He's got six years of experience. Yeah, so maybe you offer him four years to decrease that cap hit per year. Okay. Uh, and then lock him up for a bit longer. So, let's see. Yeah, so it, it lowers it lowers the cap hit a little bit. Um, so we're going to offer him $11.8 million for, uh, for four years. Sound good? You're the GM. Okay. We're the coach. Either or. All right. He's happy to sign and continue playing for his great organization as well. All right. So a bit of an exaggeration on great, but I, yeah, I see why great. he would say that. It's not great. But it will be great. I believe that I, I have what it takes to – oh, my goodness, what happened? I backed out. It's not over. It's not. All right. Bryce Callahan, I think that's the next one. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, man, he's fast. 94 speed? He is fast. Wow. 
What is he asking for? He is asking for uh, three years, twelve point two million. That includes a one point oh four uh, million signing bonus. Hmm. I'm noticing if I make it four years, um, drastically less of a cap hit. Yeah, that will go down. Mm -hmm. um, but the thing is, he, he he is only 25. So if you really right. wanted him, you could offer him even like more a, years, like a five year. You could, but the thing is, is it worth it to have a player um, who's performing at a 72 overall with pretty poor coverage stats and only normal development? I mean, you have to make that assessment. How much are you going to play him? That's true. You run nickel packages. What I'm looking at, I, I do run quite a bit of nickel and dime, yes. Um, but so he could have some value. What I'm for looking it. at that 94 certainly jumps out at me. Yeah. Um, I do like the 93 acceleration, 87 agility. That's pretty good. That play rec could be better. I'm not too happy with that. Um, everything else is kind of subpar. So, but I do want to keep him around for that reason. He's he's got the speed. Okay. So why don't we say, since he's only 25 years old, he's got two years' experience, why don't we go ahead and make a five-year offer? You think that's fair? If you want to lock him up for five years, yeah, sure. Okay. All right. I'm excited to sign such a great offer and stay with the team. Awesome. Okay, next up. Who else wants my money? <laughs> uh, left outside linebacker Christian Jones. Okay. So here's our dilemma. Again, uh, we were scouting in the draft, and we found out that there's a Heisman Trophy winner, left outside linebacker, Rashawn Lucky. So with that being said, I'm not sure I want to pursue Christian Jones. Do I, Christian do I, Jones, do more I of a 4-3 outside linebacker, to be honest. I'm not sure he fits your scheme, since right. it seems like you're going to be playing a 3-4. Three, 3-4, four. Three, four, correct. So based on his poor block shed mm -hmm. uh, and not great pass rushing stats, I would say that maybe it wouldn't be the best for your organization to sign him. Okay. Um, so what do I do in that case? Just leave it. Leave it? Yeah, or you could end negotiations with him. But that's kind of a waste of time. Okay, I'll just leave it. Uh, Matthew McCants. Uh, is this guy a starter? He must be. I can look at your roster while you're yeah. doing this. No, let, me, let me look real quick. It's, I got it right here. Uh, okay. Offensive line. Uh, yeah. I would okay. say Charles Leno Jr. is probably your starter. Uh, and he's younger. Well, he's on the other side of the line, though. He's at left. This is at left for me. You got Bobby Massey on the other side. Who you might look to, uh, to hmm. either cut or trade, to be honest. Really? Due to his... Due to his um, High cap hit for not much performance. Twenty-eight years old, seventy-five overall. Yep. Um, you'd be saving nearly five mil if you cut him, and okay. the penalty is only one million. Huh. Okay. So you're saying cut a? Let me see. Let me go back to him, because I can always move him to the other side of the line, right? Yeah. So you're saying cut McCants and move Leno over there i would say um probably don't negotiate with mccants duty i don't think he'll ever develop okay. and i would say cut bobby massey who's your current starting right tackle okay. um in your roster not in your depth chart right now okay <clears throat> so are you playing as the bears because you are from chicago that's a great guess chris Stitch. yes Okay, so let's see. I think that was left tackle. Uh, McCants, we can cut him, right? All right, so we're going to cut him. It'll free up 670k in cap room, which is great. I would not. I would not cut McCants. I would just let him walk. There's no need to take a penalty, but I would probably cut Bobby Massey. Okay. At right tackle. I was thinking we'd cut both, but okay, I'll just cut Massey then. Yeah, I just why take the penalty if you don't have to? True. Oh, is there no penalty for him? Okay, that was my bad. Okay, so let's see. He's got pretty decent stats though. Bobby Massey 20, does. Yeah, I mean he's got eighty-three strength, uh, eighty-three impact block. 
But you know it's what? Pretty, it's pretty we, terrible. We got to make room for greatness, so we got to cut them. It'll free up four point eight six million in cap room, which is huge. Yes. But there's a penalty of one mil, so but it's not. We'll take that. We'll take that. So we're gonna cut him, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's your. That's your prerogative. He's been released. You've been freed a net of four point eight six million in cap and incurred a penalty of one mil. All right, cool. So let's back out again to the negotiations. Okay, we're going to pass up on Christian Jones. Matthew McCants. Um, we're going to leave him as well, right? We're not going to touch him. Yeah, if, if you want. Marquise Williams. Wilson, sorry. Wilson. Uh, let's see. 89 speed, 84 catching, 93 excel, 93 jumping. Catching traffic, I wish it was a little better, but I do want this guy on my team. I think he'd make an awesome uh, slot receiver. He's a very talented player. Good stats for someone who's only 24 years old. Yeah. And another situation you're going to want to have to look at mm -hmm. is um, a few players that are going to be on the roster bubble for you. Mm -hmm. um, you have Eddie Royal, who is a 31-year-old receiver. He's currently in your slot position. He is a 75 overall at 31. Uh, and your savings would be 4.75 mil for cutting him with a penalty of zero. Oh, okay. Um yeah, so why don't I go do that then? Because I want Marquise Wilson to be my uh, slot receiver. Not some old guy. Let me go ahead and go there. Eddie Roy. You also have to look at Lamar Houston. 31 years old, or excuse me, 30 years old, 79 overall. Uh, at left outside linebacker, a position where you already have Pernell McPhee, and I guess you're looking to draft a younger, better player. His savings would be 4.63 mil with a penalty of 1.8. You also have Tracy Porter, 31 years old, 66 overall. Uh, savings would be 3.31 mil with only a penalty of 600K. You have a number of players here that you could What's, cut. To, uh, uh, okay, i got to go back to the roster. I want to see what Tracy Porter's overall is. You said 66? Indeed, yeah. yeah that's not good. That's not good. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking, why don't we, uh, and, you know, let me know if you think I'm crazy for doing this, but I want to release Lamar Houston, and I want to release uh, Porter. Yeah, probably good moves. Right? Mm-hmm. All right, so let's get rid of Porter. Deuces. And let's, uh, Lamar Houston. That's a pretty big uh, penalty, 1.8 mil. Yeah. But it's decent the, the, size. the savings make up for it, I guess. Mm -hmm. He right. is actually a candidate to get cut in real life as well. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. Which is unfortunate because I used to love Lamar Houston, um, uh, especially on the Raiders. Correct me if I'm wrong, but he's the guy who uh, tore his, um, was it his Achilles by accelerating off of a sack? Steven Tullock. Tullock. That's right. Lamar Houston, however, has torn his ACL twice in the past three years. I swear I thought Lamar Houston had a celebration-related injury. I could be wrong. It's, it's been done in the past. <laughs> How are you going to mm -hmm. cut my cousin, Del Mar? Sorry, Kamal Porter. All right, so we're going to negotiate with uh, Marques Wilson. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. Um, he wants three years... For nine uh, nine point one five mil, I think that's okay, right? I'm gonna leave what it is as that? is. Is that two five a year or something like that? Uh, two one. Well, I'm thinking cap hit. Oh, cap hit. Yeah. Two five three. Okay. Two five three. Yeah. That seems like a decent decent thing because if you this can guy... get him a lot of touchdowns, he could develop into something really good. Just upgrade that route running. Yeah. He yeah. could be a talented player for you. And you know what? I'm a guy who uses my slot receivers quite a bit, so I can. I can really see this guy being great for me. 6'4", good speed. Yeah. 24 years old. Yep. So I'm going to make that offer for uh, 9.15 mil. Let's see if he goes for it. I mean, he, it's for three years, so. He is only 24. He's only 24. Yeah. Are, are you suggesting that I maybe add another year, make it four? Yeah, I definitely would. Okay. Because if you know, like, why didn't it renegotiate in three years when you can. That's true. Hold that off. Right, that's true. All right. 
We're going to make this offer for four years. All right, he's excited to sign such a great offer and stay with the team. Awesome. All right, Brian Hoyer. This is this is where it gets interesting for me. I was looking at the Bears roster. Obviously, Jay Cutler is gone, right? Brian Hoyer, I don't want him on the team. I think he's a good dude um, off the field. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just don't want him on this team. And you got to keep in mind, I mean, worst case scenario, you do have Matt Barkley, who's 26 years old, 72 overall, same overall, still on your team, locked up in contract. Right. And I'm glad you mentioned Matt Barkley. That's who I want to be my starter. Really? I Not want... looking to address that in the draft or free agency? Uh, maybe free agency, depending on who's available. But um, That's true. Yeah. I, you know, I've seen him play. You know, like I said, I've watched plenty of Bears fans being here. In, uh, Bears games. I don't watch Bears fans. That'd be creepy. I watch Bears games being here <laughs> in Chicago. Um, and I do like him. He's got a leadership attribute to him that I don't really see in Cutler. Um, I think he's a he's going to be a proven leader this year in real life. Uh, and I think he can be one for me in this game as well. What do you think? No, for sure. So, oh, here he is. Actually. An interesting situation you have as well um, with someone that you could develop over the course of this series mm -hmm. is Kevin White. He's only a 71 overall, but he has very, very good attributes besides route running and awareness. And his speed. That might be a player you look to get a lot of snaps. Yeah. yeah. He, his situation is actually very similar to that of uh, Brashad Perriman. Uh, they both Perriman and him missed their rookie season due to injury. So. Yes, it might say he's got two or three years experience, but it's really more like one or two. You know, he, his legs mm. don't have that mileage on him. So, but the question is, what do we do with Brian Hoyer? Do we address this at all or just move on? Because I do need a backup I would move on from Brian just in Hoyer. case Barkley goes down. You do. That's why I was, you know, suggesting maybe draft a late round QB. Okay. Uh, or if one jumps out at you in the draft okay. or one in free agency. Gotcha. All right, so we're going to move ahead. We're not even going to address Brian Hoyer, right? <clears throat> CJ Wilson. Um, wow, this guy's kind of a beast. 87 strength, 83 tackle. Uh, block shedding could be better. And he's 30 years old. Let's see. Didn't we? I think I have a defensive tackle on my list here. I'm pretty sure. Uh, we have. Henderson Landmass. It just sounds like a defensive tackle. Oh yeah. Um, here's he's a guy that we've been watching in the uh, in the scout. So, what do you think? I, I'm thinking of part ways with C.J. Wilson. Mm -hmm. Good call, bad call. I'd like I'm thinking a lot of these players down here are not going to have a lot of value for you. Well, except this guy right here, Matt Barkley. Sure. All right, so I'm going to pass up on him, Connor Barth. Uh, we definitely need him. Do you think we uh, – what are we doing as far as kickers? I know it's not really a hot position, but from your experience of doing these so many times, does any do any good kickers come up in free agency? Decent. Like you'll find, you'll find a 78, 79 overall kicker probably in free agency. Yeah, but this guy's an 88, 88 kick power. He's a 72 overall. 72, yeah, but he's got the kick accuracy that we need. All right, I'm going to pass up on him too. Let's see what, let's see what, uh, what else we got here. Um, all right, Matt Barkley. Let's see what he wants. So he's only 26 years old. He's got four years of experience. Uh, but his player development is slow. That's slightly a problem, isn't it, Bengal? It's going to be problematic. He's not ever going to be higher than like a 74 overall. Hmm. That does pose a problem. It doesn't have the throw power. It doesn't have the speed. He's yeah. definitely a, a filler type player. Dang. So even at twenty six, he'll never develop into a franchise guy. Interesting. I'd expect his development to be a little better than just. Uh, I'd expect at least normal development. Okay, so with that being said, then our two options are to draft or to pick up someone in free agency. Correct. Yes, and as I suggested before. Considering yeah. the fact that you have the number one overall pick, I would very highly recommend trading down to accumulate more picks. Okay. Uh, that's not something I can do now, though, right? It, it's got to be... Uh... No. I would, I would wait till the draft where your pick's going to have the most value. All right. 
All right, the other guys I don't think have any value in being looked at. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and advance one week. Okay. We good? Uh, before we go, I want to see what the news looks like. Let's see the news real quick. I wonder if it's going to reflect that Alshon Jeffrey signing. Look at that. Tom Brady calls it quits. Tom Brady, one of the greatest late round picks of all time, calls it quits after 17 seasons. Good riddance. Uh, so is Steve Smith Sr. He's gone too. Uh, let's see. Dwight Freeney's gone. Frank Gore's gone. And so is James Harrison. And Anquan Bolden. Interesting. Interesting. Bunch of big names there. And Julius Peppers too. Mid to late 2000s stars. Right. All right, we're going to move one week. Um, ready to advance. The series looking excited. Appreciate it, Conrad. Uh, shout out to, again, uh, Bangle and Official Mole. These are the two guys that motivated me to start this. If any bit of this sounds interesting to you, check out their links below, please. Both of them are there. Um, Bangle is the one I have oh on the Skype call right now with me. So he's he's walking me through this. He's the expert at doing this. This is all he does on his channel. He's, he's a pro. Um, it's not accurate. You're a pro. Um, there, there's some interesting free agents. Okay, let's see. Sign free agents. Um, available cap room, $52.89 million. Uh, now is the you time a of the year to try and improve your team by signing free agents. All right, so let's see what free agents are actually available out there. There's some interesting ones. Eric Berry. Man. There's eight bids on him, though. Interesting. I, uh, wow, that, that's, that's someone I really am interested in, though. I could, I could, I could see Eric Berry play for the Bears. Martellus Bennett, uh, he, he said some pretty bad things about Chicago. We don't want him back. Hightower, he's, he's pretty decent. I would be very interested in Dante Hightower. What's, how do I look at their stats? I would be very interested. You okay, click I, A. I got it, I got it, okay. 83 speed, 97 tackle, 91 hit power. Wow, this guy's a beast. Player recognition. You also see 90. 27 years old, quick yeah. development. Yeah, quick development. Okay, this, so far, aside from Eric Berry, which I don't think is a realistic pickup, um, I find this to be more realistic, Dante Hightower. Um, Dante Hightower is very realistic, considering the fact that um, you have Jarrell Freeman currently. As you're starting middle linebacker who is 32 years old. Right. And maybe maybe you trade him for a pick. All right. So since he's only 27, um, we're going to leave it at four. I was going to say make it three. I potentially could do that, right? Because I got enough money for it. You can do any year the amount that you want. Yeah, I'm going to offer three. I, I don't want to do the four at this moment. Uh, we're going to make an offer for three years. Uh, 24.8 mil. What do you think? Opinions? Go, I would go for it if, if that's what you want. I'm not sure if you're going to appear in his top three teams, but it's, it's worth a shot to see where you, where you rank. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let's continue with that. All right, made a bid for him. Uh, let's see, Jared Cook. Uh, who's my current uh, tight end? Let me take a look real quick. Is tight end a position of need? Zach Miller, 82. Yes. That is a position of need. Look at his age as well. I don't see it. Hang on. He's old. Uh, tight end, Zach Miller. 32 years old, yeah. Okay, we're, we're going to need to address that position. The so. top two teams for pursuing Dante Hightower, by the way, yeah. have 100 and... Hold on, let me see this. Have 114 and 112 points, and you have a, a bid for 79 points. Okay, so you're saying I have to... You would, have to, you would have to offer him quite a bit more if you'd want to get him on your team. Okay. So why don't we do... I don't, I don't know if I really want him for five years. Maybe, 
No. Let's do four years. I first offered him three years. Let's do four. I think you're going to have to increase that salary and signing bonus quite a bit to uh, make that interest go up. Yeah, I'm still down by a lot. I'm at 83 points. All right, so what if we say we'll give him a, a, like a $4 million, uh, signing bonus? Right? Sure. That's a pretty decent signing bonus. Yeah. Let's see if, uh, if I become any... Okay. Wow. I'm up by one point. <laughs> I'm in first place by one point. High the cap hit is only uh, $8 million a year for a very talented player. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, Jared Cook. We could use this guy on the Bears. I mean, he's not that much younger than Zach Miller. He's 30 years old, but... Um, I think he'd be a valuable asset for us this year. Let's see. Let's do... Okay, we're in the lead there, too. Top bidder for both High Tower and Jared Cook. Let's see, who else is out here? <clears throat> Anybody jumping out to you guys, by the way? Matt Forte, I'm not sure we want him back. Morris Claiborne. I think if you're looking at tight end, maybe check out Luke Wilson um, over Jared Cook. Let me see. Uh, Luke Wilson. He's going to be a tall 6'5 guy with tremendous speed. 87 speed, um, 84 speed younger, catch. And no one has offered on him yet. Okay. Uh, well, I can withdraw, right? Or should I just leave that? On, on you can Jared withdraw because you will sign. You will sign Jared Cook okay. as it is. All right. All right. So I withdrew my offer on Jared Cook, and we're going to make an offer for Wilson. Four years. Okay. What else? Bengal, you see anyone that you think uh, would be in making an impact on this team? Um, I see there are a couple of decent backup quarterbacks out there. Yeah, I was about to look at that. I mean, <clears throat> not I don't interested know if you're in Hoyer interested in RG three. I'm not at all. Not even in the slightest. Yeah, Mike Lennon wouldn't be the worst option, but he has a bid on him. Hey, what's up, Mole? How's it going, bro? Bringing Matt Forte back could be interesting. I probably wouldn't do it, though. What do you think about Ryan Fitzdaddy, a.k.a. Fitzpatrick? A.k.a. Fitzmagic. <laughs> 69 overall, cap hit 3.5 a year. And he's got normal development. Yeah, he's not going to develop at all. He's not going to develop, you think? All right. No, especially 69 overall, 34 years old. You'll be lucky to have him another year. There's three. Nick Foles. He's young. Let's see what his... He's got 90 throw power, which is legit. Hmm. That deep throw accuracy. Got a t couple of decent guards out in free agency as well. Really? Hmm. What's up, Banana Boy? Bangle, I think I'm interested in Nick Foles. All right. Do you think he'll develop? Be honest. I don't. I don't think anyone's going to develop that you're signing here, except for Dante Hightower and Luke Wilson. Mm -hmm. It's all about age, because in Madden regression, that's going to hap start happening around 29. Okay. So I think Fitzpatrick will only get worse. I think Foles. Um, Trade for Garoppolo? his ceiling is 73 overall. That's something we could try to pull off, right? A trade for Garoppolo. Sure. Because here I would, in Chicago, I would... there's talks of having Garoppolo play for the Bears. I mean, he is from Illinois. Uh, mm -hmm. He went to Rolling Meadows High School and everything, so he's he's pretty local. Um, so why don't we pass up on quarterback for now in free agency? Mm -hmm. Do you also, uh, apart from guards, Dominique Easley uh, is in free agency at right end. Let me see. Uh, 
quick question. What guards were you looking at? Um, top guards I saw was uh, Luke Jokel yep. and Patrick Omame. There's no bids on Patrick, but uh, Luke's got quite a few. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, maybe I submit an offer for, for Luke Joko. Okay. Only 25. Let's see if he'll do five years. Let's see. Where does that put us? Oh, we are tied. So what happens in a tie here? We're tied with the... Uh, with the Jaguars, as far as the bids, bidding points. I I don't know. All right. Well, just to be safe, let's maybe throw some more money at him. Give him. He's only got an 880k signing bonus. Let's up that to one mil. All right. And that puts us in first. That puts us in first now. Okay. So we got. Just to recap, we have. Who we got tight end, right? We made an offer for uh, Luke Wilson. Uh, left guard, made an offer for Jokel. Let's see. You had mentioned that there was a right end. Easily. Dominique Easley. Yeah. Yeah, I loved him out of Florida. Very talented player. Okay. And we got. Hmm. All right, let's see. Let's see what we can do. He's only 25 years old. We're going to make him a very similar offer to the other dude. Let's go for five years. And um, make that 1.25 mil. Uh, one and a half. We got money to play with here. One and a half mil signing bonus for five years. Where's that put us? And we are. He was first. one of the best uh, interior pass rushers in the league, actually, statistic wise, this year. Interesting. Let me take a look at running. There's a chance right. that you could even you could even decrease your offer on him quite a bit, and still get him. Um, really? Yeah, because you're you're a good ten points ahead. You okay. only need to be about one. Okay, so maybe we. Uh... All right, so let's let's go back to that then. Maybe we make it one point two five mil signing bonus. Where's that put us? Okay, we're slightly in the lead. Double R, you're overbidding for easily. Well, not anymore. I fixed it. Uh, let me take a look at running backs real quick. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't feel right getting uh, Forte on here. But Terrence West, this is a guy I can, I can really appreciate because I can see, I've seen what he did for us in Baltimore. Do I make an offer? And you probably won't have to bid a lot to get him either. And he's young too, 26. I want to make an offer for him. Now let's just go for the three years that he's asking for. Let's see. Wow. Okay, I guess we're offering too much. Let me revise that real quick. Uh, signing bonus. Let's make that just one mil. Oop, too far. Okay, that's good. I feel good about that. <clears throat> Low key running back double R is Gillisley. Uh, let me see if he's on here. He's right here. What's his stats looking like? 88 speed, 89 excel, 89 carry. Um, yeah, I could see that. But honestly, this could be a toss up between him and Terrence West. I'm going to give Terrence West a slight nod because. Uh, I'm more familiar with them. Bengal, anything else you're seeing in free agency? Um, is is, uh, is wide receiver something that we want to pursue hmm. right here? Or Probably we not in free agency just because you have a litany of very talented ones in Alshon Jeffrey mm -hmm. and Kevin White and Marquise Wilson in Cameron Meredith. You might want to try it tight end. Maybe uh, that could be an option. But Matt Prater is so, in free agency as a kicker. And he's going to have tremendous kick power and accuracy for you. Okay. Before we go over to kicker, I want to address something. So we – obviously we have Zach Miller, right? We're trying to get him replaced. I re, re, uh, I took away my offer on Jared Cook, but I want to make another offer on him because I, I really do want him on this team. 
Even though we have an, um, okay. an existing offer on Luke Wilson. Let's see what we can offer him here. Let's do the four years for 24 mil. And that puts us a slight edge over the Rams in the bidding war. So, all right, let's go over to kicker. By the way, guys, I apologize if I'm doing something that you think is not right or um, maybe I'm not making the best decisions. Please bear with me. This is the first time I'm doing anything like this. Um, so, like I said, bear with me. If this thing really <laughs> bear works. Bear with me. Yeah, right? Bear down with me. Um, you know, let me let me try to figure this out. You know, and and um, if this goes well, we'll definitely do more of these. Um, but yeah, so try not to be a stickler on me this first year. Matt Prater is a seventy-nine overall. What's his stats? Ninety-six kick power. Ninety-one kick accuracy as well. And you were going to settle for what? Eighty-eight kick power. Eighty-two yeah. kick accuracy. Yeah, I changed my mind now. All right, let's offer something up for him. All right, we're the only bid on him, 83. Um, do you think we're at risk of being outbid here, or do you think we're going to get him? Um, I think maybe you're even over because you're the so? only one in the pool. Yeah, you might you might want to decrease that just a bit. Okay, so let's do signing bonus of 500K instead of 1 mil. All right, 500K. 6.72 mil for two years. Let's see. Oh, it didn't change. Oh, okay, we're at 50 now. We're at 50. Wait, what happened? Stream is down? Wait a sec, I think stream is down. Yo, is the stream offline? Bangle? Hey, yo, Bangle. Bangle. You there? Yeah, I just uh, had was drinking Pepsi. Okay. And was spilling it all over myself and continued to drink anyway. Okay, okay. Yeah. I got you. All right, I think we're good now. I think we're good. Uh, sorry about that. Sorry about that, guys. Um, we had a little dip in our internet. I'm not sure why. Anyway, we're back. So we made an offer on uh, Matt Prater. I think it's a pretty respectable offer, right? We got 50 points, and I, I don't know. I think uh, I think we're good. I'm ready to proceed. I'm gonna go ahead and advance a week. Okay, Bengal. Sure. Yeah, hey, go for it. All right. Waiting for others to ready. All yeah, you could have forced advance, but luckily I readied up quickly. Okay, cool. Dolphins sign yeah. Eric Berry. Really? To a large deal. Eric Berry and Rashad Jones. How does that sound? Wow. I know Gray won divorce, probably. I'll giddied up for that. All right, so we got some contract accept people that accept our contracts. We got easily he accepted high tower. He's good. Jared Cook, Matt Prater, Terrence West. Yeah. Oh, Terrence West rejected. What a legend. He rejected our offer. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We got uh, Luke Wilson and we got Jokel. Awesome. Terrence West is a Carolina Panther. Interesting. Interesting. Why don't we have a fullback? It says empty. Is that something that we're just going to substitute a tight end in for? I mean, you could. I mean, I don't know how much, uh, how many fullback packages you plan on coming out in. Quite a few, especially in the red zone. All right. Um, as far as a power fullback, uh, I don't know that any are available. Uh, let me see. Uh, how do I access free agents again? Oh, right here. <clears throat> uh, 
fullbacks. Tuafu Wafu. I think this guy, didn't he play for the Bears? Uh, I remember him more as a Niner and a Jaguar and a Seahawk. Okay, you're right. You're right. Okay, sure. Let's let's go with him. He's is it, a seventh. Is it bad that I know that? Is that what? No, that's actually impressive. Eight hundred ninety k for one year. Let's see if he'll take it. He played on the Jags, Bears from oh nine to eleven. Okay. I'm thinking of Will Tukuwafu. You know those Hawaiian names always throw me off. I got to be honest. Will Tukuafa, there he is, 49er Seahawks. There's Will Tukuafo, and then there's Will Taufuo. Taufa Ow, I don't know. Okay, we we actually don't have a backup quarterback, I'm realizing. That could be a problem. Because Cutler's still there. This is a problem. What do you want to do with Jay Cutler? I don't want What's him. up? I, I don't want Jay Cutler. It wouldn't make sense for you to cut him right now? Can I make him at least a backup? Yeah. Let's see. Let me check out free agency again. <clears throat> Derek Watt? Really? Really go outside? For real? Something, dude. Nick Foles is calling my name, man. All right. I think he can be great for us. Let's see, fourteen point four mil. For Jeez, how do I keep spilling this on me, man? Really, that's not good enough. All right, let's give him a little bit more of a signing bonus. Let's make that one point seven five mil. Fifteen point two mil for three years. He's got to accept this. Really? It didn't update. Okay, we're good. Dude, now I think I have MRSA. We're good. MRSA. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Yeah. All right, we're gonna move ahead one more week. You got the symptoms? Mm -hmm. Get Kyle Uzcheck. I wonder what team uh, Kyle Uzcheck's playing on right now. Let me see. Uh, let's let's check the Ravens first. Let's see if he's still there. Hello. And he is. He is. He's still a Raven. Uh, I I spilled Pepsi all over myself again. Again? I don't know what's wrong with this cup, dude. Hey, we got Nick Foles. We got Nick Foles, man. Welcome to the starting lineup. No, it is Jeff Kuhn. It is Jeff Kuhn. <clears throat> All right, I think I did about everything I wanted to do. I'm just going to uh, advance till the draft. You Have you fully scouted all rounds and things like that of players that you're interested in? Uh, let me see. Let me pull up my list again. Here are all the players that will appear in the upcoming draft. Select a player to learn more. Okay, so I have left outside linebacker. Select to scout this player and unlock his best skill. Each yeah, skill yeah, yeah, unlock will cost this. you scouting points. Unlock this player's true skill ranking. All right. Chill. Each player now has okay, a combine grade. Okay, calm down. This score represents how well really? this player did in the combine. All right, let's go over to left outside linebacker. So this guy is someone I'm interested in. Hook him. Hook him horns. Who? 3-4 pass rusher. Cameron Hutchins. Why would you say hook him horns? Texas, right? Oh, Florida State. My bad. What are you talking about? <laughs> I, I, I wrote that wrong. I wrote that wrong. Wrong player. Um, although Rashawn Lucky did win the Heisman, so I, I'm, he could True. be a talented player for you. True. It's that C-plus tackle rating. Though. Max Smallwood Max Smallwood does look really good in the second round as well. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. This guy got a 4.5940-yard dash. 
That's pretty impressive for a linebacker. Four five nine is a think of him as like a D end almost. Hmm. So he's gonna be pretty quick. What is Good this agility. I mean, we got the first round pick, right? I'm looking at the left side of my screen where it says our offensive needs and defensive needs. And you can click right bumper another time to see your picks as well. Yeah, so I have the first round pick, but you're saying um, you suggest that maybe I trade down in the draft? From the first overall pick because it's going to have tremendous value. Okay. Hmm. All right, I'm going to... I'm going to add him to my watch list as well as Hutchins. Uh, who's that other guy? Offensive lineman, uh, Terry something. Uh, let's see, where is he at? Now we got to find him. I never got his full name. You don't happen to know, do you? It was something uh -huh. Terry. Offensive lineman? Offense, oh yeah. Um, what was he? There he is, Sasha Terry. That's it, Sasha. Is this is that how you pronounce it, Sasha? Okay. Yeah, he's projected to go seventh round though, talent wise. Hmm. His his attributes are pretty horrendous. Yeah, that's true. We're gonna have him on the watch list anyway. Uh, who else? We got. Uh, Logan Lacey, left end. He's right here. Pretty decent, wouldn't you say? Yeah, and keep in mind, you're going to want to scout uh, into some deeper rounds because you have a first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh round pick. Right. All right, so let's see. What, what positions of need do we have? Give me a second here. Um... Let's go defense. I wouldn't totally rule out drafting a quarterback in the first round either. Really? Let's see. Let's see what's out there. Hunter Pelshack. I remember you and I were talking about this a couple nights ago. Do any of these guys jump out at you at all? Hunter Pelshack is good. Russell McKee is good. And Veerling. I mean, the top three guys on my list are all pretty good. Yeah? All right, we'll watch all three. Mm -hmm. um, tell me what this number means. What's that 5, 2, and then there's a dash? Is that their projection? Oh, that, that's their actual... Talent. Okay. That's their talent, yeah. Okay. Kind of a lousy uh, draft class, no? Oh, it's the worst I've ever seen. It's not an exaggeration either. I mean, I'm not seeing very many of the uh, the first round projections. Yeah, no, this is, this is a terrible draft. <laughs> uh, maybe we should scout some more uh, right guards. Seeing as... Cause, because I only have one. Okay, there's... I'm going to go ahead and assemble a uh, top prospect list for you. Okay. Going into the draft. Based on need. You're going to be able to get that done that quick? Yeah. Okay. Right tackles. Six round talent. Another six rounder. Okay. This guy might be interesting. Forrest Jean Baptiste. It's a cool name. Oh yeah. He's pretty good for a fourth rounder. Alright, let's see what else is out there. Um left end. We're out of points though. You're gonna have more points next week. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and advance in one week. We are getting closer to the NFL draft, guys. All right. All right where were we? Left end? Yes. 
Okay. Mm. Now, when they have a dash in there, what's that really mean? Undrafted. Undrafted, okay. Okay, a couple of third and fourth rounders. Oh man, look at these right ends. First overall pick is worth at least two first and uh, second round pick. You should trade. You could look at trade with either the Browns or the Titans. They got their two first rounders. Okay. I mean, I'm the Titans, but I'll, I'll automate it. Okay. Dude, look at the middle linebackers. Undrafted talent, all of them, except for one. This is insane. Uh, let's, let's see what this guy is. Okay. Prentice Newcomb. That guy, uh, I had him on my list right here. Out of Nebraska. Yeah, I have him watched. He's pretty good. Okay. Definitely. I'm watching all the guys that I think should be on your, your radar. Cool. Let me see something real quick. Okay. Cornerbacks. It's a good draft class for cornerbacks, I'll tell you that. It's decent. I have uh, one watch for you. Uh, let me guess. Is it uh, Robert Hasselbach? It's not. Mealy? It is. Although, um, Robert Hale is good as well, and you could watch. You could well, it watch says, It says he's projected as a mid-first rounder. Talent-wise, yeah, he's good. Okay. Let's see here. All right, let's check out the free safeties. Okay. Strong safeties. Do we do we need a strong safety? I think we do. Yeah. Probably be a good idea to draft one. Um, yeah, uh, the best safeties on the board for you, Lenard Barry. I would probably have at the top of your entire board. Um, let me see. Also, Torian Tolliver, and then strong safety. You got Rashad Henderson. Corliss, Colston, and then late in the draft, Kassan, Rendell, L. He's got a 4-5, 40-yard dash. <clears throat> B-minus coverage. He's projected as a mid-fourth rounder. Okay, let me take a look at one more thing. Let me review my list one more time. All right. Uh, I don't know what your list is looking like, but the eight guys that were on my list, I'm all accounted for. Um, the top guys, skill-wise for me, based on the top that uh, we wrote down, yeah, uh, that we didn't write down, mm -hmm. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Wow. I have a top 20 from rounds 1 to 6. Okay. Um, anyway, you can send that to me? Maybe, uh... I have it watched, so whenever your pick is, or I'll let you know. You okay, perfect. Watch out for those guys. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to go like ahead... like your, your draft. I'm out of scouting points, so I'm going to go ahead and advance it to the, to yeah. the draft. You ready? Sure. All right, here we go. It's about to be lit, boys. Welcome to draft week. All the effort you spend scouting comes down to this. Start the draft when you're ready. All right. I'm going to start the draft. You ready? Yeah, I would pause immediately as well. Pause as soon as we start? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, start drafting. The Bears are now on the clock. All right, pause. Okay. So, we're going to want to trade away our You'll pick. note that the Browns have the third and sixth pick. Um, that might not be the worst move to acquire both of those. So, we trade them our first and round maybe, pick for those uh, two picks, right? Yeah, I would I'd give, certainly give that a shot. 
and then maybe see if you can pick up their second. Always try to get more than you can at right. first. Uh, let's see. You also have trade offers if you want to check those out. All right, let's see what our review offers are. Um, oh, it, it actually is the Browns, believe it or not. Uh, we get the. What are they offering though? We get the the first round pick. Uh, sorry, the third overall pick in this draft. Um, we get the thirty fifth overall pick in the second round, and we got a twenty eighteen draft pick, first round, first pick. Don't accept that. Okay. Try to get their first round pick this year as well. Another one. Okay, so. How do we do this? I would click right to manage, go to Trade Center, right bumper. Ah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, so trade block. Is that what we're doing? Nope. Manual nope. trade? Manual trade. Okay. Yep. All right, add player or pick. We're going to go with first pick, right? Mm-hmm. Advance. And we're gonna want their no, not the not the Bengals. Hold on, Browns. All right, we're gonna want the Browns. Let's see what picks they got again. I would go three six and then thirty four. I think that's what it is. Three six and thirty five. Thirty five. Do you think they'd accept that? First no. of all, in real life, they would never accept this. They might if they had a player that they really wanted for a first spot, round pick. Definitely would happen. All that. It's happened with RG three. Okay. Happened with Jared Goff. All right, I'm gonna submit this and see what they have. Happened to say. with Ricky Williams. Happened with Herschel Walker. Should I add anything else on my end? I don't think they're gonna accept this. You might have to after, but I would I would go to see how close you are to filling it up. Okay. Hold on now. This pick is trading it, it was accepted. It was accepted. Okay. So we got... Um, we traded away our first overall pick in the 2017 draft. And we got the third overall pick, sixth overall pick, and the 35th overall pick. Pretty decent. That's pretty good. Pretty decent. And now uh, if you advance two picks. Let's see who the Browns select with the first overall pick in the 2017 NFL draft. Skip ahead, right? Cleveland is on the clock. Yep. Uh, advance to next pick. I would leave it pause, but just, they're going to take quarterback Hunter Hellshack. Okay. Let's scratch him off our list. So they trade up to get their franchise quarterback. Yep. Uh, let's see. Advance the next user pick or advance the next pick? Advance the next pick. I would pause the drafts at the same time as well. As they take Cameron Hutchins, left outside linebacker. Dang it. Those are two guys right away that are gone. Left outside linebacker and quarterback right off the board. Two guys that probably would have been high up on your board. Definitely were. Yep. All right. Let's make our selection. And from what I've heard from scouts who watched him play, All right. you can tell the extra coaching has helped. Bengal, Even during assistant manager, combine, I was told who do we have? GMs that he was one of their I mean, I would definitely be looking at, um, as far as top game, guys goes, Rashawn Lucky. Um, I know We, we know he's going to have like a lot. good uh, ability on the field. He did he win the Heisman. Uh, right outside linebacker? Left outside linebacker. Uh, le left. Yeah. He's going to be pretty fast. Um, and he is a first-round talent. I, Conrad he probably me to should be at again. the top of your board. Hmm? Conrad's telling me to trade down again. Um, I'm going to go with Lucky. Well, since it's, he was, do you think he's going to be there with the next? And I'm I'm not sure that he would be. The thing is, so there's what two other picks between us? Yeah, between, the Ravens the time and that we make the Bucks. This pick, there's two other picks being made. I think he'll be gone. That's my opinion. I think we're shot. Uh, there's we'll definitely a chance. I think the Ravens would probably take him. But they could take the wide receiver. Um, uh, let me, it's on, do let me... you take the gamble or do you take the player you want? That's tough, dude. 
Because you are at pick number three, which is still going to have, like, tremendous value um, that you could trade back. I really want Rashawn Lucky. Can I draft him? Do you do what you want? We're going to draft him. He's a Heisman winner. Come on, man. Let's go. Let's go to Adam now. Rashawn oh, Lucky. He's got super super star star development. Let me say that that's going to be for, that's good. 79 overall, ranked fourth in the draft. You took him at number 3, 86 speed, 87 block shed. That's a solid pretty, pickup, right? Pretty talented player. Um, only thing you're going to look to upgrade is his finesse move if you were going to have him coming off the edge. And power moves. I think this is a nah. home run pick. No, we're not going to touch it. He can be a one trick pony. I wouldn't. Well okay. Recognition. All right. Um, let's see. So I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, that yeah it's a is tremendous pick. Uh, tremendous pick. Skip ahead. Next pick. Our very own Adam there goes Lacey. Left end. Very talented player. For for loss. He's quickly talented left end. As a fearsome defensive lineman with a devastating rip. Okay. Move. Ross Tucker had him ranked as the top defensive line prospect. Bucks got take Duckworth, Duckworth a other end. He wasn't even on my list. Was he on yours? On your scouting list? Um, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. No, he's not on mine. Adding depth on the defensive line is always a positive, and when you can add an impact player of his caliber, you've set up your defense for immediate success. All right. So let me pause this now. So it's our pick again. We had the third overall pick, and now we got the sixth overall pick. Um, Bengal, what are we looking like? I already crossed off uh, some pretty decent players off my list. What are you coming? I would up say with? cornerback is going to be a, a pretty big issue for you, a pretty big need. Um, but there's also Who are you thinking, I, th uh, I think that Josiah Mealy is a better prospect. Uh, you got the size, you have better speed. He's six foot. Zero. Slightly better all-around coverage. I think, 5 11. With yeah, but, but McInnes, McInnes is uh, six foot two, and slightly better. Yeah, stats. but um, you're not going to get the, you're not going to get the speed with him. Okay. That you're going to get with um, Josiah Mealy. Okay. Uh, I'm not saying take Mealy for chance, because yeah, you got to make a, an assessment here. Because Lenard says, Berry out of Auburn, the oh, safety is a very very good player. Um, but Barry? the thing is, there are some good safeties. There's a good safety, Tori and Tolliver, in the second round. I feel like and, I feel like we're drafting these guys too early. If I'm honest, because mm. I know we're not going to see another pick until the 35th overall pick, but like six overall, they will pick, not be there. Yeah, these guys will for sure not be here by the time we make our 35th pick. So you're saying so we, you we could have to you could trade here. down again if you. You could you could trade down if if Mealy is your guy, mm -hmm. maybe to trade down. See if the Jags maybe you're interested. I um, actually I unless like you want to take Hasselbach here. No, I, I like that idea. Let's see who's who's drafting ahead. We're not we don't want to draft too like uh, let's take the tenth overall pick from the Jags. Let's see if they'll be willing to switch with us. Uh, let's see what else would we take though. We would take the Jags tenth. Maybe get a third rounder. I mean, I'll be see if you can get a second. And a 42nd overall pick. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Actually, let's see if there's any offers. All right, we got a couple offers here, Bengal. Um, Bengals, Two second-round picks would be pretty good as well. Bengals are offering us uh, their 28th overall pick in this first round um, and a six-round pick. I, I don't think I want to take that. Uh, Broncos. I wouldn't take any of those. Yeah, they're all 2018. I would say do it manually. Okay, we'll do it manually. Because there are a, a handful of really good prospects in the second round that could be late first round picks. Right. Um, like Tory and Tolliver, the safety out of Kentucky, is a very, very good player. Prentice Newcomb is a very talented player as well. But you could make an end or situational pass rusher. Very, very talented player in the second round. Um, that could very well go in the first. Let's see. Let's see if I can make the Jaguars a offer they can't refuse. All right, so we want that 10th round pick. 
and they're 42nd. They only draft once in the second round, dude. Okay. I'm not really too happy with that 42nd overall pick, though. It's not that bad. The guy in that range, Max Smallwood, pretty good. Okay. I mean, a second round pick's a second round pick, and you're only moving down a couple spots if this does go through. This one, for sure, sure, I don't think is going to go through because we are taking away their entire second round. But we'll see. Well, that's going to be the case for really any team. All right, here we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna submit it as is. So again, our sixth overall pick uh, for their tenth overall pick in the first round and forty second pick in the second round. Let's see. The Jags are interested but need a little bit more value. Okay. So what what else do you suggest we add? I'm looking at our picks right now. We got the sixth overall pick. Do we Based need this? On... We, don't, we don't need the 33rd and the 35th pick. We we need one of them. Yeah. Nah, I'd say I'd say uh, it's probably best to have those ones because they're they are really good picks, and there's no reason you if you gave them a second round pick. Yeah. You'd be doing them a gigantic favor. Okay. I would say offer perhaps a fifth. Fifth round pick. We only draft yeah. once in the fifth round. 129. Okay, that, yeah. All right, so you're saying offer that. Let's see if they'll... How many, they'll... How many fourth round picks do you have? We have two. Hmm. I, w- I would see. I would try this and see if it goes through. Okay, let's try it. Let's um, try it. Cause it they were... Uh, oh, they have a very low interest in this. I can tell already. Hmm. It's going to add value, just because it, even though it's red. Okay. <sighs> they shot it down again. It says the um, the fifth round, 129th overall pick is a bad value for their draft pick. So we'll go ahead and remove that. Yeah, but the green the bar has moved up. It's not that they don't want it; it's just they want more. Um, you still Can we don't offer necessarily. From 2018. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> so why don't we offer them our uh, our second round pick? In 2018, it's mm, a lot of value. Uh, maybe, maybe a third. All right, we'll go third round. And then I don't think that's going to get accepted, so you might have to add a fifth this year. All right, let's see if this goes. If not, then I'll I'll add our fifth round pick of this year. Let's see if this goes through. Okay, they're not interested. All right, so let's go ahead and also not add. interested, and where you got to see where the bar is. Oh, let me see. The bar is it's almost there to the end. Well, it's uh, it's looking the same as the last time though. Yeah, so if you add more value, it's gonna. Be All right, let's there. see what happens if I give them our first our, our uh, fifth round pick of this year. <clears throat> In addition, this has got to go through. Mm, might not. Really. Yeah, they're not taking the bait. Um, there is a potential that you could trade with a different team and drop a bit down further. Okay, it's hold on. Let me, let me check the draft order again. All right, so it's us, and then we got... I don't want to drop down too much now. How about the... Oh, you're the Titans. I was about to say, let's try the Titans. I could not be the Titans. 12th is actually a really nice place to be. Yeah, let me let me see Titans. Let me see. I mean, I think it's a fair trade, so I would accept it. Okay. I don't think that's... Now, when you say fair trade, you're saying if I offer up the exact same thing? Yeah, I'll accept that. All right. All right, so let's see. We said uh, fifth pick, fifth round pick, right? Hmm. And a 2018 what? It was a 2018... Three? Third, yes. Okay. And we will take your... One and two. Titans. You gotta offer a one as well. I gotta do what? You got, you didn't offer the first round pick. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed that. My mistake. 
Okay, and we're going to take your... Um, let's see your draft picks real quick. <clears throat> we'll take your 12th round pick. That's all I really want. Is that fair? Yes. That's, there's quite a bit of value there. I, I don't think I'm uh, cheating the system here. No. This would probably go through if it was CPU. Your offer has been sent. If the Titans are interested, you will receive a response. All right, cool. How come nobody's at the podium? That's because both teams are right now. How come it says bad trade? value across the board? Bad value it just, for draft picks. That's day. sometimes it's just what it says. Okay. It's it's clearly not a bad value if there are four stars and one is five stars. Right. So I'm going to simulate this pick. And off the board goes the tackle Parsons. Parsons. Okay. Are you serious, Delvar? Yeah, I'm serious, bro. All right, we're going to skip ahead to... How far do we... Should I just skip ahead to our pick? No. Skip ahead to the next pick. The Dolphins are now on the clock. Okay, he wasn't even on my list. The Bills are now Weathersby. on the Weathersby? Was he on your list, Bengal? I think you said he was, right? Weathersby? Wide um, receiver? Like, he's good, but nah, you don't need him. Okay. All right, Buffalo Bills are up next. The Jaguars are now on the clock. Uh, right guard Duff. It wasn't on my list either. Jacksonville Jaguars. Are now on the clock. Middle linebacker Pitts. I don't know where to get these names from. Uh, he's, it's not even on my list either. Pitts was a good linebacker. Oh yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yep. Nowhere on my list at all. Wasn't that good, yeah. Okay. One more pick, and then it's our. You don't need it. You just signed Dante Hightower. The Bears. And there goes Hasselbach. There he is. Hasselbach. Hasselbach is gone. Was that who you were looking to get? I was, yes. I think the other corner is going to be faster and taller and better coverage in the long term. All right. So let's see. It's our pick. <clears throat> let's see who the cornerback is. I, Measley, right? That was his name? Mealy. Mealy. Josiah Mealy. Josiah Mealy. I would probably, I would probably go with him. But you definitely have to consider taking a quarterback here. Let's see what's available still. Yeah, these guys are going to be gone by the time we make our next pick, for sure. Yeah, and Russell Russell McKee's pretty good. TJ Veerling's pretty good. I'm thinking Verling, or Veerling, however you pronounce that. I'd say Veerling. Veerling. Yeah, so if you want to take a quarterback, again, corner is going to be a need for you as well. It's just, do you think that either of these guys Let's is see, your we, franchise QB? We just paid a whole bunch of money for Nick Foles, though. $12 million to be exact. Yeah, how much per year? I think uh, six-something. Six a year? Yeah. No, no. How do I review it? How, how can I go back and review it? Good night, Chris Stitch. See you later, man. And yes, guys, we are going to be playing our uh, our week one game, too. Go for McKee. Okay. Bangle, I'm definitely You taking... overpaid full so much. Did I? <laughs> oh, I yeah. Right. I got right. See, There's I, no I knew, reason to, to I spend I that much. I mistakes for... like that, though. That, that was to be expected. Do me a favor, Mole. Or, uh keep calling him all. Uh, Bangle, look at uh, Veerling and look at McKee. I have to pull the trigger on one of these two because we don't draft again until God knows when. Um, 33, 33rd overall pick. Both those quarterbacks are for sure going to be gone. I'm going to say if you're going to take a QB... I am. Um... I would probably give Which the one, edge to Veerling. And why? Just because it's purely accuracy-wise. I think McKee is going to be more of an athlete for you, um, but not by much. I think the pick here Six, five, probably should be probably should be Josiah Mealy, but a quarterback also a pretty big need. Yeah. 
yeah, if you're, if you're going to take a QB Veerling, it's probably the look. Okay. I know the chat's going crazy for McKee. I'm not really sure why. Uh, it's like but, two guys. But we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go for Veerling. Here we go. Fingers crossed. Quick development. Are now Pocket the- passer. That's the way. That's that's what you want. Ninety-three. What's his power. overall? Uh, he's he's good. Seventy-eight yeah, he's good. overall. He is good. And we could probably develop him into what the mid eighties at least. In his first season, yeah. yeah. Seventy-six deep accuracy. Uh, 70 aware- awareness could go up, right? If I was to look to boost awareness, is always going to be low for drafted players. Mm-hmm. Um, definitely, I mean his accuracy, especially short range, start off great. But yeah, when, when you're playing in game, accuracy mm-hmm. is going to be the most important thing, and upgrade awareness later. Okay. All right. Bengal, I don't know about you, but I think uh, because there's so many picks in between our picks, should I just advance to my pick? Advance, yeah. We'll advance to my next user pick. Advance to the next user is going to go for me, and I'm going to uh, simulate. Simulate to the Cowboys. Titans take another corner. Hail. As three of the three corners go out of the top, or the last four picks. It was late in the game, and the defense knew who the quarterback was going to target. Next user pick. He was surrounded by three defenders when his quarterback put the ball in the air. And even though there goes okay. Prentice Newcomb at thirty, very he is. very good player. Okay, cross him heads. off my list. He isn't the biggest receiver, but he has the ability to. You know who is there though that I would probably take right now? Let me see. Is Torian Oliver? I think this team got a possible difference maker. Yeah, you missed the boat. Torian Tolliver. Safety. Oh, and he's a first round talent. He's very good. I was that's what I was saying. I really look to get him. He's by far the best prospect in this range. And then maybe with your next pick, Max Smallwood. Alright. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for uh, free safety Torian Tolliver. Let's see what he get. The forty niners uh, are now on the clock. Normal development, 88 speed, which is pretty good. Uh, overall of 75, by the way, Bengal. Uh, 91 acceleration, 87 hit power, pretty good. Um, pursuit. Good speed, play, good zone. Yeah, play he's rec, good. Not that good. Uh, but is that normal for uh, drafted free safeties, is for their play rec to be low? Or is that... Uh... It's always... It, rookies, play rec and awareness will be really low. Okay. Okay, cool. He's he's definitely a good value pick. Rank twenty six. You took him at thirty three. Yeah. Whenever you have a better number uh, for ranking than drafted, it's perfect. And we have another pick coming up. All right, now that the pick's in, let's go to Adam. Adam, what can okay. you tell us about this game? Let's see who's still available now. Any good team um, starts up front, and here's a guy who's a franchise's dream come true. What, what do you think, think about Daryl Barry? I know you said you were pretty happy with him, but uh, took on some of the nation's I doubt. Who did you say? Uh, what do you think about quarterback Daryl Berry out of Notre Dame? I doubt he's still going to be on the board. He's going to be able to horrendous. He's terrible. Really terrible. Awful. You're pulling my leg, right? No, not at all. Terrible. What makes you say that? He's five eleven. His 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 top stat is C plus zone coverage, which is not good. Yeah, but you said C man, which is horrendous. I did not. I said if for the other guys at the top when they had all around the same, and that was all in the B's area, mm-hmm. and then they had better speed. This guy is not good at all. Okay. All right. So then that's not the move. Um, I would take Max Smallwood. Position, receiver. Outside oh. linebacker. Don't need a receiver. Uh, Max Smallwood. <clears throat> Yeah, and perhaps slide him down to end, or uh, play him outside linebacker situationally. Isn't that what we were planning on slide... doing with uh, High Tower, though? No, I th- I would probably play High Tower at in the middle at middle linebacker. Okay. What I would do is, um, <sighs> I would start High Tower and Trevathan at middle linebacker. Slide Pernell McPhee down to left end. Okay. 
or right end. It doesn't well, matter. Well, if he did that, Dominique easily he's, into he's a hybrid. He, he can do both. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I would slide him down. All right, so I'm going to draft Max Smallwood right here. I think he's a good, very good player. Let's see what we got. Quick the development, are 76 yeah, that's great. overall. That's great. 82 speed, 79 tackle, 88 hit power, 82 pursuit, 84 finesse, 79 tackle. Yeah, he's very good. Six five two forty five. Ranked seventeenth. You took him at thirty five. This is why I do what I do. Double R. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, let's see. When's our next pick? Uh, wow, way down here. Way down here. Okay, we're just gonna skip ahead to our next pick. All right, let's go to Adam Schefter, who's got more on this pick. He's the definition of a balanced tight end that can go okay. through this team's run First and pick game. of Just the third round. The Here we game. go. Matt Miller told me coaches challenged him by lining him up both with his hand let's on the see. line. Let's see what's still on him. I'm going to go ahead and go toss out my list because um, I've, role, fenched, even I've uh, now scratched off all of them. This draft. He's the kind so of my list is my list is no good now. On the field. Um, so you're gonna have to help me out now. Pass schemes um, keeping him on the field no matter what play is getting called. I'm guessing. If we'll you're looking to draft another pass. end, let me see. Those are probably the best players on the board right now, or another safety. Uh, free safety or strong safety? Strong. Right. I would go. Are you I would go Marvin Gross, left end out of Texas, or. Um, Corliss Colston out of Air Force, strong safety. I would probably go Marvin Gross, and if both safeties are off the uh, off the board with your next pick, take Kassan Randall L in the sixth. Hmm. Wait, I don't even see Gross on here. He's a left end. Ah, let me t let me take a look at him real quick. I gotta ask, why would you take Gross over Hoyt on, at left end? Uh, I like the C plus, C plus for power and finesse. I think he's going to be a little bit more versatile. Uh, Michael Hoyt's going to grade out a bit higher, okay. and he is good. Um, but I just think you're going to see just a better player out of Marvin Gross. Okay. Right now. All right, and okay, so left end, then you said free safety checkout, or sorry, strong safety. Check out um, Randall L. Yeah, and he's no, a Cor six Corliss guy. Colston. But Corliss Colston yeah. and Rashad Henderson, they're good players. I would value an end over a safety considering you already drafted a good safety. Yeah. All right, that's what we'll do. Okay, I'm going to pull the trigger on, uh, on Marvin Gross. Let's see what we get here. All right, team is now uh, off the clock. Okay, Adam slow Sheffield, development. 68 overall. That's I'll tell you, everyone was talking about him after the combat. Not great. And not, exactly not, a, not a great player, no. Not great. Okay. Hey, they can't all be winners, right? As one of the worst they can't all be winners. No, you've had a very successful draft after this point. You're in the, and the third round. I heard all right, let's get Late third, right? Had very uh, and we're at the very, very, very start of the third, so... Oh, yeah. We're gonna go ahead and advance and see when we uh, draft next. For him, how he plays is looked at oh, that's more you. than how he talks. I think the team found a good player, even if he is lacking a little charisma. I guess that's a gross pick. Very funny. It was. Yeah, that's gonna be in the chat. You gotta expect you that. Tell us about that last pick. If anyone should get a trophy for how to train in preparation for the draft, it has to be this kid. There goes a strong safety. Not a good one, though. ...will bulk up in the offseason to better protect their bodies from the intense physical demands of okay. the NFL. Okay, let's see what we got here. The trainers, First pick of the fourth round. The rest of the class in that area. And from what I've been told, he hasn't lost a step. Now, when you look at him, you see a player that can contribute in week one. He's more conditioned than most of his okay. fellow classmates. I haven't scouted any, any of these guys. The um, running, Keevan Fowler, free safety. I did scout him. The strong safeties are the best ones on the board. Actually, Keevan Fowler is pretty good. Yeah. Um, Keevan, Fa Keevan Fowler is good, actually. Yeah, I scouted uh, him. I, would, I have a high grade. I think Corliss Colston is the best one right here. 
as a uh, out of air coverage force, safety. He's a very good coverage guy. Mm-hmm. And then maybe with your next pick, take Kassan Randall, who's more of an in-the-box fella. All right, we're going to pull the trigger on uh, Colston. <clears throat> and he is normal development, 85 block. speed, 80 zone coverage, 91 excel, 87 hit power. He's pretty good. 72 tackle. Yeah, pretty decent. But he's 69 overall. Great, great zone. Yeah, but you got to consider where you drafted him. He's ranked 74th in the draft. You took him at number 97. Yeah. So, I mean, that's good value. That's true. And you can always convert um, maybe him into a nickel CB. That's true. That's true. Move, Move him over into a different position. Yeah, I mean, his man isn't great. Right, but that can be upgraded. Henderson, their newest player. And he has great hit power. Top three defensive back Speaking of great hit power, Kassan Randall Great hit power as well. He's still up there. Amazing. Right, we'll he's a six-round guy, so he should, he's, he's going to be there for a bit. A minus hit power. Amazing. He has normal development, 71 overall, 85 speed, 78 tackle, 77 pursuit, 91 XL, 90 hit power. What a beast. A yeah, that's a great pick. I'm pretty happy. He with can't that. cover for anything. He can't cover at all. <laughs> 71 um, zone, 65 man. Yeah, that's true. But I, I, I definitely like a guy that's going to come in on special teams. He's going to be very good. Yeah. He's got pretty good speed. Honestly, I like him as a as a situational uh, big dime backup safety linebacker. Yeah. Oh my goodness, he said it. He said it. The Titans. <laughs> Are now on the clock. Well, I mean, in big dime, he's going to come in and be and act as a linebacker, the essentially. Are now on the clock. It is Jay Goff. <laughs> you still have zero active right tackles. Uh, what? What do you mean? Uh, yeah, that's true. You don't, you just don't have any. Are now on the clock. All right, here we go. Fifth round pick. I don't the have one, I don't believe. Are now on the clock. No, nah, I don't. Who traded that sucker away? The Titans are now on the clock. The Texans are now on the clock. I mean, maybe maybe try get one here in round six, if you have a pick. A hidden gem? Let's go to Adam now, I'm pretty sure I do. The yeah, there it is. Pick. Seventh round pick. Explosive First one. Sadly for fans of yep. Uh... His career came to an I mean, if, if anyone's he been here, I mean, there's Antoine Clemens there. He's not surgery, strong. Weeks of intensive Platelet rich plasma therapy uh, Boston College. and months of strength training. Yep. Of the Kobe Leroy. Kobe Leroy is a bit stronger. Even felt as though he looked stronger and faster than before the injury. I would take Leroy over Clemens personally. Would you? Is it? Yeah, they're both. You're not going off the combine grade alone, right? I'm going off strength. But Aaron Winslow is actually really strong. He's projected to go undrafted. Yeah, well, Aaron Winslow put up 30, which was the fifth at right ta- all right tackles. So why not? Why wouldn't we go with Aaron Winslow here instead of Ruth Leroy? Maybe you would. I kind of want to. I don't know anything about him. So, I mean, it's seventh round pick. 99% chance he's not going to play, but you take the chance. I'm going to go with it. We'll see what happens. If he's, I mean, if he's like a 69, you've done great. 68 overall. You've uh, done you've done very well. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, oh, wow. His block stats are actually really good. For the, block the seventh block. round player. Yeah, pretty good. Aaron is ranked a great seventh 206 round pick. in the true talent, and you drafted him at 193. Okay. I guess it is That's fine. He's, he's pretty good. All right, let's skip ahead. It might seem like a bad idea, but I would make him your starter. Would you really? Even at 68. Because his awareness is what's holding down his overall. He's gonna awareness is really easy there, to boost. Hey, but his blocking stats are not bad. Would you take 77 pass block and 77 run block? Absolutely. Not, that's not bad. He's got decent strength for a right tackle. And he, he was not bad. I'm actually going to take this pick. Okay. See who I take. JT Hepburn, receiver, Texas Tech. The nice. Are now on the clock. 
What's his overall? Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, it's one of those. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. it's one of those. All right, cool. Uh, let's adjust the roster. So the draft is over. I think we had a pretty decent draft. I took a baller. <laughs> All right, let's see. Quarterbacks. All right. Um, okay, Beerling is definitely going to be our starter. Cutler, I'm sorry you're out. I'm, I'm, should I make Cutler my backup? I don't know what else you do with him. Okay, he can be our backup. All right, I can't edit my depth chart here. So I think I'm in the wrong area. Let me go ahead into my team. There we go. This is where I want to be. Dang, the Cowboys drafted four cornerbacks. Yeah, they're going to be monstrous. I don't think I play against them this year, though. No, nah, the cornerbacks are pretty terrible besides Millie. All right, Nick Foles is going to be our backup. TJ Veerling is going to lead the Bears. Jordan Howard, uh, Kadeem Carey. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this. Actually, Kadeem Carey is a good backup. I liked him out of Arizona. I was just about to say, you go with I, Jeremy Langford? I, I, I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of impressed with Langford's I mean, he, speed, he, though. I kind of want to move him he's up. He's better. He's, be, he's better stat-wise for sure. <laughs> Let's see, 88 Excel. All right, you know what? We'll leave leave Kadeem Carey as a backup, running back. We'll leave Jordan Howard first, obviously. Fullback. What's not much uh, Jordan there. Langford? Or should be Jordan Langford trucking. Uh, trucking, it is 80. It's the lowest of all my running Where's backs. What's Kadeem Carey's truck? 82. Click on, uh, I would go Jeremy Langford over Kadeem Carey. Would you? I was saying the same thing, Tremendously but that was only because, of the, only because of the speed. Why, why do you say it? Yeah, that's one of the reasons. Also, I see that a lot of the reason why his stats are down is because he's playing with confidence that's lower. If that gets boosted from winning, I mean, it's, those will go back to normal. So I'm saying he's probably better. Wait, where do you see confidence? Go ahead and I see. Oh, I, see I don't I see, see confidence. See I see that his stats are being okay. Just totally down. Like okay. you see all the red arrows down. Do. Like, yeah, I see really right important stats. Yeah, I see him right here. Yeah. Double R, how was your time tonight with your parents? Awesome, dude. Awesome, dude. Uh, <sighs> all right, fullback. We're good there. Receivers. I might be interested in moving Kevin White up. What do you think, Bengal? Over Wilson? I don't know, man. I was ranting and raving about uh, Marquez Wilson. What's Meredith is blocking? Meredith's blocking. Blocking. Run block, 60. Impact block, 57. I wonder if you run him at... I mean, you don't... You sign two tight ends. Hmm. I mean... I think Kevin White is going to be more effective for you in the, in the slot? slot than Wilson. Yeah. I think the same thing. Just because tremendous speed. I think, oh, it's, yeah, I think it's a bit better speed. This... this uh... 93 speed that Kevin White has. That, that'll that take the top off of any defense, I feel like. He's a liability. I think he just there. has higher I think he has higher potential than Wilson. All right. We're going to roll with that. Alshon is our starter. Okay, we're good there. Tight end, Jerry Cook. Um, I'm tempted to drop Zach Miller to the third and let Luke Wilson yeah, play our second. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that's good. Actually, do I want to... No, I was about to say, do I make Luke Wilson my starter? No, I'm not going to do um, that. I mean, you were, you were pretty high on Jared Cook. I don't, I don't yeah. know why you signed him. No, we're going not... to leave Jared Cook out there. Left tackle, Charles Leno. That looks okay to me. That looks okay. Sure. I would definitely run that, even though it looks like a terrible decision, I would run that right tackle uh, that you drafted in the seventh round, mm -hmm. that starting right tackle. Okay. Oops. 
Okay, so so then Winslow, he's our starting. Oh, he can't start twice. Okay, he's already starting. Hold on, let me demote him here. He can't made, be made a starting right tackle because he's already starting left. Okay. Let's see if we can move him now. Bro? Okay, you know what? This game is trolling me. Alright, now we can make some moves here. Alright, so left tackle. We're gonna move Winslow there. Okay, does that look good? Well, actually, I want to move white hair up. There. I'm pretty happy with that there. That look good? Bengal? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Okay, left guard now. Uh, Josh Sitton. I like him. We're going to leave that. Okay, we got center. White hair. We we drafted Grasu, right? I'm pretty sure. Who? Uh, Hieronis Grasu. No, no, he was already. On. Oh yeah, the center. It's not not this year. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're good there. Right guard, Luke Jokel. So he was a left guard. We're making him a right guard. Is that right? But yeah. Then, but then, where does Kyle Long play in? Where does he factor in? Left. Wait, we're gonna we're gonna take. This doesn't make sense now. Why would we take a right guard, the modem, for a left guard, and move the right guard, Kyle Long, to the left guard? I'm not. I, I'm gonna be honest. I zoned out for a minute. I'm not sure exactly what the situation is. I'm trying to fake it till I make it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, because that doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what the situation. Is. All right, I do want to have Kyle Long there. Um, let's see where Jokel is. Dang, I'm stuck in a position now where I can't really use him. Where do I put Jokel at? Play Jokel at right tackle. Play him at right Screw tackle. Screw the guy you drafted. Yeah, I don't know. All right. Seems so like that's your best bet. Problem solved. Okay, so now we got left end, right end. Let's go ahead and grab, um, not Pernell McPhee, but who's the other dude we drafted? Did we did we decide that we're going to use Rashawn Lucky as a as a defensive end? No, 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 no. I would run. For, I would I would go into your roster mm -hmm. and change Pernell McPhee's position to an end spot. If you could go into your roster and not depth chart. So I could see better what's going yeah. on. Yeah, hang on. Oh, you have Leonard Floyd. That's a thing. Oh no. All right. Uh, roster. I forgot about him. Adjust roster. Okay. I can't really edit anything in here. Though. All right. Show me left. Not true. Show me left end though. Does that show you anything? I'm not seeing left end. Oh, my bad. Akeem Nix. Or, Akeem Hicks. <laughs> Marvin Gross. Probably going to want to start Akeem Hicks, huh? Yep. Hmm, show me right end. Dominic Easley. Defensive tackle? Now you're just asking for too much. Just kidding. Eddie Goldman's my full range here. Starter. Yeah, move Dominique Easley. To, uh, go back to right end. Oops. Click on Dominique Easley. Hold on. Right end. Okay. Dominic Easley, okay. Make him a right end. Or make him a defensive tackle. Okay. Defensive tackle. All right. Save changes. 
Okay, so now he's a defensive tackle. Sure. Um, go back. Go to defensive. What's his overall go up to? His overall is a seventy-six now. It's good. Um, Start him. No, no, no. Keep him. Just keep him where he is. Okay. Because he'll come in rotationally. Okay. And then go to left outside linebacker. Yep. Pernell McPhee. Make make him a right end. Uh, right end. Okay. Okay. So now well, let's I'm go just... over to right end and see what we're looking at. Okay, so Pernell McPhee is going to be an 85 overall right end, which is amazing. He even goes up. That's a neat. Uh, show me both outside linebackers. You can go left quick and then right quick or whatever. Uh, Lucky, and we got Leonard Floyd. What what uh, development does Smallwood have? Let me see. He has quick development. I would start, unless Leonard Floyd is quick, which I would doubt, I would play Smallwood. I would keep Smallwood at left. Okay. And then but move, just move him? Lucky to, I would move Lucky to right in your edit roster. Change his actual position to right outside linebacker. Okay. So we're changing from left outside linebacker to right outside linebacker, right? Yes. Okay. All right, done. Okay. Um, and so then... that makes that. Hold on. So that makes Max Smallwood our 76 overall left outside linebacker. Um, we have in the middle Donta Hightower and Trevathan in the middle, and we got uh, on the right hand side we got. Hold on. Let's make Rushy. Uh, we we want to start Lucky over. Uh, yeah. Right. Um, yeah. Just uh, press B. Yeah. And go into your uh, screen where you all see all the players in blue squares. Yeah. All right. We'll make. Oh, he's already there. No, he's not. Uh, he's right here. Press Y. I got it. Come on, move down. No, no. Press press Y. Press Y. Okay. Yeah, that's going to reorganize your whole thing. Oh, it's lit. Awesome. Yeah, but now he's up here. Leonard Floyd's now popped up on the uh, left outside. Okay, just bring Leonard Floyd down and Max Smallwood up. There we go. Everything else look good? Yep. Yeah? Yep. Dude, our cornerbacks suck, dude. I know, I wanted you to draft one. Eesh. Eesh. All right, nope, don't want to quit franchise mode. All right, so are we uh, – I'm going to sim through the first uh, four weeks of preseason and get to week one. Sure. Okay. Sim 10 years. Yeah, no, thank you. Um, all right, simulating through the off season. Kick off your week by installing your game plan. Okay, so now let's advance again through sim to regular season, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, here we go. About to get into our week one game here shortly. Start the regular season by selecting your season goal. Okay. <clears throat> Set season goal. Shoot for the stars or be conservative. Well, seeing as how we went two and fourteen last year, uh, that was a very different team. That was a very different team. Yes. And by the way, that guy, you see, the, the handsome dude you see on the left, that is actually uh, head coach reigning Ravens. Oh uh -huh, yeah. They wouldn't let me put any numbers in the in the name, so yeah, it's going to be reigning Ravens. You know what? We went from two and fourteen. I think we can make at least a ten win team. What do you think? Yeah, it sounds about fair. Alright, we'll we'll say our let's set a goal of ten wins. Now let's not get too crazy here. You don't win ten games, you're trash. Well 
I, I know I'm trash at this game, so that's Kick not going to confirm your anything. Installing your that's game true. Plan. Um, okay, let's see. Before we jump into the game, uh, let me take a look at the news real quick. Okay. Best time of the year. Okay, we got the uh, Falcons taking on the Tampa Bay Bucks. I forgot to see who we play. Interesting. John Fox. John Fox is a coach of the Rams. Who would have seen that coming? Hmm. You can take the. You can uh, go ahead and read those for yourself. I'm not going to read every single one, but pretty interesting headlines here. Uh, then let, let me take a look at my stories. Oh, that's pretty cool. A strange occurrence. A preseason tie is a double-edged sword. Coaches can't be happy. But there's our quarterback, though. There is our quarterback. How do you pronounce it again, Bengal? V Viernin? V Vierling. Vierling. It's going to take me some time. Hopefully by week Vier 16. Vier? Vier? Vierling. Ling. Vierling. I suppose also you could say Verling. Verling. Kind of like Olivier Vernon. Mm. <laughs> no, not, not like that at all. I know. All right. All right, here we go. Let's see who we play. Actually, before we even play, let's take a look at our schedule. I know we play the Ravens, right? We have to play the Ravens. Oh, yeah, we play in week two. Okay. Ooh. We got Panthers. We got Ravens. We got the Minnesota Vikings and the, and the Falcons, the team that choked in the Super Bowl. So right away, our first four weeks are going to be hell. Yeah, week two looks like an easy W. We got a we got a week five bye, which I'm not too happy with. Uh, I don't like having. You had a, a week two bye. You have who has a week two bye? You do. I got a week five bye. Week two. Bro. Yeah. What are you talking about? You see what I'm saying though? Because there's not much talent. I'm Is that saying, what you're saying. I'm saying. I'm saying the Ravens might as well be a buy. Yeah, yeah, you can uh, kill yourself. Um, we have <laughs> followed by that weak little week five buy. We got the Eagles. We're playing at Green Bay. Lions. We got the Bungles. Vikings again at the Vikings. Browns. Lions again. Buccaneers. Saints. 49ers. Packers and Steelers to cap off the season. Wow. Well, if we're going to get those 10 wins, it's going to take quite a bit of effort, I must say. So, here we go. We're going to jump into week one. Uh, how many minute quarters are these? Seven, right? How many do you have it set to? I don't know if I change it. You can change it? Okay, that's fine. Any way to look now before we start or no? Yeah, absolutely. Go, uh, go to options. Leak settings? Yeah. Uh, okay, all Madden, looks good. Six minutes. I'm going to make it seven. Yeah, that's a good move. I'm going to make it seven. Okay. All right, here we go. Uh, start weekly training. I'm, I'm actually not going to do that. Do you, recommend, no? do you recommend I do that or no? You want to get some extra XP to upgrade your players, but if not, that would be an awful. And yeah, it would be probably a good move. Been pre -selected you got trade offers for Zach Miller, I might add. Oh, do I? You can change your might be wise to at least you have made your game in a main screen. On your, yeah. Uh, let me see. Now let's take a minute to see how you can improve trade your offers team. for tight end Zach Miller. Let's let's review that offer. Let's see what we have here. So the Los Angeles Rams are offering a lot of draft picks. Uh, wow, that's actually really good. Yeah, the Rams are offering a nice trade. 2019 second overall pick. Or uh, 54th pick in the second round. And we got a fifth rounder. And a seventh rounder of 2018 for next year. Mm-hmm. Green Bay not really feeling that one. Dude, do I take this offer? That's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to take that. Okay. 
So now he's gone. Uh, let's do our weekly training. Ravens are taking an L. Um, maybe in week two they are because they're playing against me. Okay, so start training. Do we want to do start training or just do the offensive and defensive game plan? Don't I don't know what that is. I never screw around with that. I would say um, start training. like you see on the right where you, yeah yeah. Go to the practice no, field. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Which one do I do? Yeah, you see your focus players? Over on the far right, what are, oh, the, yes. what are the options? Yes, are? yes. Rashawn Lucky, Veerling, and Max Mullwood. So oh, those are some good players to do it around, yeah, for sure. Okay. Oh, have you, you also got to make sure that you're, um, that the free safety you drafted is playing strong. Oh, right. Right. Let me, uh, let me take a look at that real quick. Um, I'm not seeing it. Where do I go to? Oh, uh, here we go. Roster. All right. Strong safety. So, Randall L, right? Is that who you're no. talking about? No. Tolliver? Yeah. Okay. We want him to play strong. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Mole says, if you have more time, do the offensive and defensive trills. Uh, I think I will. I think I will. Save changes. Okay. All right. Now let me make sure that he's actually moved over there before we proceed. Oops. Not quarterback, strong safety. Okay, but now they're we have Harold Jones, Cordy, and Tolliver. They have the same overall. Corte. Corte. Yeah, yeah. start to Tolliver over him. Okay. All right. Cool. Hey Ravens, remember me, bro? Uh, I gotta be honest, no. And I, but I get that question a lot, so don't be offended. <laughs> Okay, um, focus player. Right. Now you got you got good players in there. That's who I would stick with. Yeah, leave them in there. Those are three rookie starters. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna do the offensive and defensive game plan, right? I think this. Is I don't. Really I don't cool, know. By the way, how it says the Panthers like to run a cover three, like it tells you stuff about your weekly opponent, right? That's pretty cool. Panthers yeah. will throw a screen pass 14% of the time. We should focus on cover two-man drill. That's pretty cool. So do you recommend Mole, I... Mole knows more about this stuff than I do. He seems to in the chat. Well, he said to try out these offensive and defensive game plans, so that's what I'll do. I, he, I, yeah, okay. Do they take long? Do you know? I'm not sure if he said that. Go to, they probably wouldn't, but go to start training on the left instead of game plan. Okay. I think, or I, I'll see what Mole says. Yeah, Mole, type in the chat. What do you think? I mean, this when you go to start training, it gives you a more concise uh, thing. Where whereas if you go here to offensive game plan, you can choose like anything. It looks like two defensive things, but you still want your quarterback to get XP. True. Hmm. What do you think, Mole? Play them and get a medal. Okay, which one is that though? That doesn't help me. Maybe, maybe click start training. All right, I'll do start training. Here we go. Add me to chat. Um, hold on. You got him, Bagel? I don't have him on Skype. I do. Can I add him to the call? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I can make that. Go 
guys, we all watched the film from yesterday, and I hope everyone knows it wasn't good enough. Today's practice has got to be great. There we go. You want Calling you now. Game, take advantage of your practice reps. The Sunday's going to be here before you know it. Here we go now. Three nineteen. Three nineteen. Molly, there. Oh wow. His mic sounds weird. Yeah, can you hear me? Uh, very faintly, yes. All right, so we're running a practice here with our new quarterback. Oh, can you hear me? There we go. Yes, now I can hear you. I don't know how to add him as a contact. Yeah, oh, there we go. One second, guys. Um, I'll be right back, all right? One sec. Hold up. Hundred and nineteen dislikes on my video today. <laughs> One of them. Oh my. All right, I'm back. Apologies. All right. You hear that though, Raven? Uh, hear what? A hundred and nineteen dislikes on my video today. What? <laughs> yeah, right. Dude, peep. I'm sorry, man. Three hundred and ten like, likes, but people still. really cannot take a joke. They don't. Get a life. Nah, they don't, they don't get it. I, I upset quite a few people, which I, I'm fine to do. Alright. Curl flat pass concepts. Alright, here we go. Oh, come on! Okay, so much for getting 6 for 6. That's alright, we're gonna miss sometimes. You might even be able to, uh... Come on! You gotta catch it, dude! If you wanna get... Alright, now can you hear me? There we go, now I can hear you. Alright, uh, do I sound better? Yes, you do. Sorry, it's cause the, um... I guess Skype has my, my snowball microphone as my source of where my voice is coming from. Okay. So, yeah, you just... Now. Okay, well, I was just saying, like, with these whole drills, you do them, and you can, based on how well you do, you'll get a bronze, silver, or gold medal. Okay. And then you'll get, you know, it's like, based on what your player's development trait is, he'll mm -hmm. earn different amount of XP for achieving that medal. Okay. So, like, for example, well, if you have a guy with superstar dev trait, and you get the gold a medal A's been open drone, every time on that play. I want to retry. Way. I'm not too happy with that. A was open every single time. Was he? Uh, yeah. Yeah, these are super easy drills, so once you get the hang of them, but anyway... No, that doesn't help me, Mole. No, the point is, once you do them, and you get the medal, if you're happy with a silver, gold, whatever, for the rest of the year, you can do that drill, but you can simulate the drill, and you'll get the medal XP for that drill. Really? That's yeah, cool. so you only have to do each one once, and then, if like, if you get, like, in the GG9, well, not in the GG9 one, but in the one I was in earlier with uh, MBL... I just simmed my I just simmed my drills because I had gold oh, no. on the one I wanted. So yeah, A looks open, bro. Bengal, um, I don't blame not, you. Not for... not on that one. No, no, no. It it was open on the streaks and it was open on the last set of plays where he's running like a zig. Okay. But on that curl flats, he's covered every time. I I, I might want to say that. <laughs> Got it. But I like, see, 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 see this one? He's gonna be open every every single time. I bet you threw it way early on that one, but you got it anyway. Wait for it to get open, and he's going to be wide open. I got you. I got I just, you. Just, just throw it really quick. <laughs> oh! Get wrecked by the PC. All right, you know what? We're good. Four out of six, not bad. Why are you throwing it so early? You want me to retry that? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Dude, like, he gets so open. Tonight. He gets so open, and you're just like, bang, bang. So, a A. Just wait for him. Okay. <clears throat> Same play, why not? All right, two for two. I mean, your, your quarterback is throwing it really accurately. 
Yeah, right. He's except a legend. For, except, except for on those curl routes. It's a wide receiver not being aware of the ball. Right. All right. All right. We're in a groove here. Let's go. Yeah, just wait Let's for go. Cook. I'm, I'm sure you're going to wait for it this time to get wide open because it does yeah, in a big way. Let's go. Six for six. Excellent job, Ravens. Gain a first down against a cover three defense. All right. I does this. <laughs> I'm going to put you over that Why wall. Why is the game so laggy? Kinda... Oh, my goodness. Are you guys seeing this? Yo! Is the game broke? Oh, yeah. That's with slow motion. I've seen this glitch. What is that? Can I restart? Uh, no, we're just going to resume it. I'm, I'm glad I'm seeing this because I think someone said that to me the other day that they were seeing this. Oh, uh, it's so slow. <laughs> All the more time to make your reads. I don't know what those are. I know. <laughs> I, I saw you throwing a cook. It's so slow. Oh, there's no way you get this first down. Did you get it? Oh, wow, that looked like the ball crossed. Well, I'm definitely going to tell the guys on Tuesday what I'm Yo. seeing right now. I thought it was just somebody lying to me, but it's a real thing. That's nah, happened to me. Yeah. Has this happened to you, like, for a long time, or is this recent? Uh, once in a solo challenge. Wait, maybe maybe, uh, like maybe this last is week. intentional because, you know, I have a rookie quarterback and stuff. It's not. No, it's <laughs> definitely, definitely not intentional. I can say about that performance today. I will be sending out an email on Monday morning or Tuesday morning. Yeah, and I know. Uh, did, we, did Lance say it to you, Small? Do you remember? Lance, Lance is the one that told me about it, but um, I, I've definitely heard about this. All right, we're doing defense now. Cover two man is man to man defense. Okay, we know what that is. All right, really? Stop, Engel. <laughs> You know I gotta give you a hard time. Oh, this is in slow motion too. EA. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I won't. I don't like to make assumptions, but I really think that the last patch broke this. Because this was not happening before. Nah, it definitely was. Was it? Okay. Vance told me about it last month. I got okay. it like a week or two weeks ago. So before the patch. I wonder. Well, there's been multiple patches, Guys, so maybe a patch lagging. broke it. I'm trying to see what. Um, what the uh, sitch could be from, but damn, that definitely sucks, man. Yeah, we are not lagging, guys. It's it's the game. The stream is fine. I'm ordering food. Do you want something? I'm probably the bed soon. I had a uh, I went to a Japanese steakhouse tonight. It was pretty good. Oh yeah. Yeah, where'd you guys go for dinner, Ravens? I heard you went out with your parents. Yeah, we went to uh, a little Middle Eastern um, shawarma joint. Pretty good. Oh, nice, man. What's the what's the delicacy there that you tried out? Uh, shawarma. I don't even know what that is. It's like like you've had gyros. You shawarma? Yeah, like you've had gyros before, right? Yeah. So yeah, with got, like lamb and all that. Are they not yeah, it's like gyros. Yes, however you pronounce them. Here in Chicago, we call them gyros. So you just say it wrong? Bangle, what is your deal, dude? <laughs> so you just say and it wrong. And you wonder why you get 120 dislikes, you troll. I got 300 and like something likes, so... I mean, you got... Um, no comment. Oh, he's getting a touchdown. He's getting a touchdown. I'm not Bangle. that guy. Alright, you know what? This lag is atrocious. I I'm done. I'm done. Here we go. I don't even call it lag. It. It's running smoothly. Oh, this one's running smoothly. Caught me off guard. I was expecting it to lag too. <laughs> I'm watching you run out there with Dante Hightower. <laughs> You're like, what do I do? What do I do? All right, how many how many chances do you get to score? Really? Really? That's not why we picked you. That's not why we got you off free agency. Not for that. Because you, you missed a tackle battle? Yeah. 
Mm. If only he had battle ready mm -hmm. chemistry and it would always be A. Right? Yeah. By the way, guys, these two the people you're hearing in the Skype call, they are the ones who kind of inspired me to do this. Uh, not kind of, they really inspired me to do this. Um, Bangle. I am Bruce he Springsteen, and that draft. is the East Street Band. Bangle helped me out with the draft. He set up this whole thing for me, man, so I appreciate it. And also, Mole, him and I actually met up in Wisconsin. Was it last summer, Mole? Last yeah, it was like, yeah, late July. Yeah, and, you know, we are talking about things that I could do to kind of boost uh, my channel a little bit. And he recommended this. So both of those guys, uh, their YouTube channels are down in the description. Be sure to check them out if you haven't already. Um, yeah, man, to show them love. Because they've been showing me love since day one. Um, Bengal, since I had, I want to say, like, 5,000 subscribers, maybe. And Four. Mole... 4,000, okay. And Mole's been supporting me before I oh. even had one subscriber. So, uh, definitely show him some love, man. I think I'm going to go quarter pounder with cheese meal. Oh, that's a diarrhea. I mean, uh, that sounds good. <laughs> Yo, I had Taco Bell last night, Ravens. <laughs> I deserve that so much. Oh, man. You know what it's called when you get a uh, bad Taco Bell, right? It's not letting me choose a side. Is it Taco Heck? Taco Hell, yeah. Whoa, what's your language, yeah? Yeah? Yo, Tornado said's probably the worst, like, legend running back I've ever seen in Madden. Ugh. Is, Is he worse than Steve McNair quarterback? Ah, uh, that's close. Um, tough I comparison. Tough comparison, but yeah, I would Why say that card so bad. I don't know, but this Tony Dorsett just doesn't quite have the pep in his step that I thought he would. Armel, um, I appreciate it. Anything else you can uh, suggest before I start my first game? I mean, geez, I thought you'd want me as like your OC, bro, but that's all right. No, no, no. I'm saying. Um, I, oh, I, I thought you were. I thought you were kicking me. So I was no, just like, no. I'm saying, oh, what else God. do you suggest? Um, all right. So go to your go to your training complete. Can you even view it now, or did you already back out? Oh, you already uh, backed. I already backed out. Yeah. Um, improved team trade accept. No, I think you're good to go, man. I'm good. Uh, okay. I think you're. Did you so, see the XP though? Did you see I like did. what you you got? Okay, cool. I did, yes. All right. All right. Um, should I improve my team now or? No, that's just like that's you're just, not gonna have enough XP. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. <laughs> I would actually wait a couple weeks to do that. I okay. wouldn't do it every week. Um, okay. Yeah, I usually wait like three or four weeks before I start really testing out XP growth. 